Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Tom Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle14. And I'm here, and I'm back doing a review of Star. Season 3, Episode 1. I have always enjoyed Star since the first season, and I say, you know what? Now, since I'm doing the YouTube platform, let me start reviewing it, because it's really good. I like it. It's coming right at the Empire on Wednesdays. So, check it out, your local listings, and let's get to it. Alright, so it started off when it ended last week when you know Kalala and Cassie was putting, um, was pointing the gun with each other, at each other. Because, you know, Kalala found out that Cassie was the one that basically, directly, indirectly killed Hylil. Even though the bullet wasn't meant for Hylil, but Hylil saved Andy and then it killed, shit grazed him the bullet. And he died from it. So, so... Uh, Kalala is not is upset and pissed with Cassie for that. So they was at each other, the, um, pointing at each other guns, about to shoot each other, and all that stuff, and all the crazy. And she said, "Pull it, pull the trigger." And they started tasseling each other, and then they shot their mom and Christine. And Christine said, "Oh," and they looked both. They said, "Mom," oh. she said, "Don't be sitting there. Call the police." I said, "Call the ambulance. You got shot. So what you call the police for?" <laughs> So they went to the hospital and Christina got together. She said, you know what? Shut up, girl, Cassie. You be tricky happy since you've been a young child. And they call that I understand you love the man, but you got to give away something to hurt. So they went outside, talk it out. And Cassie tried to, Cassie apologized, said, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this, all that stuff. And Carla said, I'm going to get you. You're going to get yours. And I said, oh, Cassie said, you watch it, sis. Granted, bet. I said, oh, no, this is not going to go good. Sister's going at it. You know, Cassie's on the streets, so, you know, you challenge her, and you battle her, she's going to come back hard. So, it's like, whew. So, the salon is going well. They went back to the, they went to the salon. It's, it's like upscale now. It's not like the freaking kind of like in your house kind of salon, down the earth kind of thing. But it's not upscale. They got the little bar, and we got the little thing. They um, drinking champagne and wine, bubbly and everything. It's very... The look look upgraded. And so Kalala is doing a salon on the salon. And also she's head charging Midtown. Because Ayana, she left Midtown in the Kalala favors. No, Ayana's still the boss. But um, uh, Kalala still the head of a and r They fired the old dude for a and r I forgot his name. Aaron Goss. They fired him. And um, he's doing what he got to do. All that stuff. So, um... Claudia's the head, and all. So she's like doing a lot of things. She's juggling it, and she's working on this European tour. And right now, it has Noah in it. It got this lady, Joyce, who's Tiana Taylor. And we got Star. Because Star is a solo artist right now. Because Alex and Simone decided they're going to take a trip. They're going to go away. They couldn't deal with that. They couldn't deal with Star right now. So they're going to take their little trip and move. And going on. Alex went to New York, fly to New York. And then. Same time, Simone went to DR to visit her husband, Angel. And remember last season, we got this little cliffhanger, a uh, plane crashing. Because both Alex and Simone went on a plane. So we don't know what plane crashed. It turned to find out, it was freaking Alex plane that freaking got crashed. But let's, before I get to that. So they were still in the salon at, um, call it said she, um, Balancing both two. And she got the freaking interview with Take 3. And the girls haven't seen each other for three months. So this was their first interview. And first time they being together after three months passed. So they was like, it's still tension. And Miss Lawrence said, I forgot. That's the hairstyle. He said, I forgot they was even together. <laughs> like a group. I forgot those girls. What's going on with them? And that's revealed that since three months they haven't seen each other. It's going to be the first time. I hope it's good. So she said, oh, you should have told tell me that you get, get the girls together. I could have given you a voodoo shot to the hairstyle or something. And Kalala said, nah, ain't nothing, it's not for all that. I got a henny. I pray to God I'll help ever get through this. So they went to the, um, they all uh, star was upstairs getting ready. And kind of find out star is pregnant. I said, what? This bitch is pregnant? I said, oh my God, she got a baby bump. You can still, you can see it clear as day. She got a baby bump. And it was like, wow, star is pregnant. And um, I said, it's going to be, it's going to be something. And then she wanted to wear this outfit, like, just like star is a big little outfit, a little skimpy little red little suit. And they went to the interview. 
Chastar was there. Simone came, said Brandon Diaz, they was happy. She hugged Carlotta. They didn't say nothing to Star. Star said, You see me standing right here. She said, Oh, hey, Star. I said, Ooh. <laughs> and then Alex came. No, Alex was in the lock um dressing room. So then we see Alex sitting there. She having flashbacks of the plane crash. So it was Alex playing that crash, but she survived. And since this place crashed, she'd be doing a lot of um, photo shoots and Instagram and social media kind of um, things. So she been, she still, her name is still out there. And um, she, so she just having a flashback with that night of that plane crash, that plane crash. Have a flashback with this girl, keep talking to her, and she get annoyed with the lady. And then have a flashback that she trying to save the girl. To go with her, and they saved her, and then I saved the girl. She she couldn't. She felt like she was helpless, and everything. So it's it's traumatizing her. She having post traumatic stress of this little plane crash, and she always is gonna be in her mind that she can't now. She can't get on the plane. She don't want to fly right now. She's scared to fly it's because she, she's scared to fly right now because of that um, plane crash. So another flashback. So they met Alex and the thing. Simone hugged Alex and they had a good time. And stars, uh, Alex got a little banter back and forth. It's like, y'all ladies get together. This be, y'all be okay. They go answer you. They go ask you a bunch of questions about the um, tour, about the album, about the plane crash, about anything. Be ready, prepared to answer any questions. So when they had an interview, they did a little um, video shoot and said, "We about the one thing for sure." Hey, we about the one thing for sure, sure, sure. Uh, that's a nice song. I like the music in this. Um, star show and after they did that they had a little conversation they talked the interview seemed to go well and they said it's one thing and they said what's that simone and alex revealed that they are leaving the group so it won't be no more take three i said damn oh man i like take three y'all need to work together work it out but I understand how they feel they own a different um space in their lives and it just can't and they still feel the type of way about how Star treated them last thing. That Star was all selfish. She did that diss track. I was dead for your bitches. And, mm-mm, I was dead for your bitches. And I would say, damn. You call your sister and your other sister's bitches and stuff like that. But that was that. And then since that little one hit, she started going to her own solo tour. And I was like, wow. So that was that. Then Simone was, no, Star was trying to talk to Simone. Cause Alex said she's going back to New York. She's going to leave tomorrow. And they said, what? And then Colette was upset because she said, y'all choose this right time to announce this thing. We couldn't discuss it. Y'all not breaking up the group. Hell to the no. And I said, y'all need to sit down, talk it out, work this thing out. And everything. Star said, I don't like to help you, but Alex said, I would like to help you, but I'm moving back to New York. And let me leave tomorrow. Simone said, yeah, I'm going back to DR. So, um, Star wanted to talk to Simone and said, can we talk, sit down? Because I guess Star wanted to reveal to Simone that she's pregnant. But every time she tried to reveal that she's pregnant, she just couldn't get that out because I guess something coming out. So when she wanted to talk to Star on uh, her sister, her sister said, no, you had a choice to choose me and Alex before that, but you chose yourself. So, no, we got the family is nothing to me right now. So they went out and go. I said, oh, that's sad. All right, so early in the episode, Carlotta revealed that Ayana, Ayana, who was the director, um, Michael Michelle, that's the character, that's the um, actress, actress, she is selling Midtown to a guy named Mateo Ferreira. Nice looking little man, nice nineteen little exotic kind of man. And he um Carlotta and Mateo met. And Carlotta said, Nice to meet you, and so they had a pleasure um greeting pleasure trees. And she would say the midtown sound is good, I got everything ready with the tour and stuff. But he said, Oh, you never heard about this? He she said about what? He said, Um, I conquer I forgot what he was I think he said LA. But now he said he gonna conquer um Atlanta with movies, fashion, and gossip. Music has no room in this my gravity business because the name of the thing will be gravity entertainment, whatever. Gravity media. Media. 
And he said he's not going to do the music world. So he said that's going to be shut out. And she said, oh, no, you can't do that. He said, I won't buy you. I'll give you a good service package. He said, I don't need your money. I'm going to show to you that the music is right there. The music industry needs to be part of your thing. No, don't cut that out. He said, well, I have a gala in three days or something. Show me something then. She said, okay, good. So she was preparing something. He said, he's going to come see it. All right. So Star was um, at the place. Rehearsing something. Noah came. Noah is out of rehab. He said it'd be like two or three months out of rehab and he been sober. So he's good. So he's trying to get back, get his money flowing so he could move and do and get back on the track and get his, um, um, get back in the stardom and things. At the rehab, he want to get back in the groove of things, his a pattern, his routine. And then they was talking a little back. He went they star for helping him and get him through this and keep him on check and give him a reality check about keep your ass sober, motherfuckers. <laughs> like do what you gotta do to be sober because you is spying out of control. That's not that's not you. And remember Noah, he was trying to jump off the freaking ledge. He thought he talked to Miss Lawrence at the later on because Wait, before that, he was to jump on the ledge the last time we see him. We said, oh no, no, we're going to jump up the building, we're going to jump. And then they would show it. But he survived, I guess, obviously. <laughs> so, he didn't jump, so he's still there. So Joyce, Tiana Taylor, she came in and she was like, oh. And her star started going at it. She said, well, you doing it? Are you picking her side all that stuff? They were going back and forth, back and forth. And they said, calm down. And, you know, Star ain't trying to fight and all that because, you know, she's pregnant. So she's trying to not, like, go there. She will clap back because that Star is. But she's not trying to go to that far to the get to physical level. She said, calm on down. Let's, let's, uh, let me try to get focused in this tour. I don't want to argue with you and everything. Let's get on right on track. So no, we're trying to keep her calm down, keep us, um, simple between the ladies. He said, listen, this is my money. I'm trying to get on a tour. We, y'all need to work together. I said, okay. Alright. Alright, so Star Star was talking to Kalada. Kalada's in the office. She said she's trying to get things together. We're going hard. Star was saying, I need more stage time. This lady Joyce is coming after me, all that stuff. I need to promote more. I need to do more things. It's like craziness. And she said, I know what's going on. And this Cause Star thought that Kalala know that she's pregnant. She was about to say, listen, listen, listen. She was about to say it, but Kalala said, no, I know how the girl group is and it's, it's caused you problems right now. You're trying to focus, you're trying to do more so you won't think about it. And just, just give it time, you're going to work it out, all that stuff. I'm trying to do more with this tour. I need your help, all that stuff. I'm trying to get more dates and everything. So you're going to be good. So Star said, okay, fine. So later on, they went to this little get um the thing. It was like a press conference, something like that. And Soundhouse agreed to do the about ten year tour, something like that. Ten months or ten year tour. And some money in the bank. And they're gonna be popping European tour, it will be Star and Noah, Star and Joyce. And it will be good. They had a in the bag. Before they went on and she was giving a speech, Mateo was there. And we're giving the speech. Freaking Joyce, Star, and Noah backstage. Joyce is high as a motherfucker. You could tell she was drinking some shit. And you could tell she was there, like, kind of stoned out a little bit. And they said, What you doing? You really high? You probably open up. We can't mess this up. So Star took a cup. He said, No, get out of here. Come on. We got to be so, we got to be good. All that stuff. And Joyce don't like Star. So they were going back and forth. And Star said, Get this girl. I'm trying to, nah, stop it. Trying not, to, trying not to get there with you. We're trying to make it focus. Work, work, work. I'm not trying to fight here. And Joyce said, you better get out there and kiss this ring. And let, you better be lucky I'll let you open up for me and all that stuff. I Star said, yeah, whatever. Let's go. So they went out there. And Star trying to open up. And then Joyce came out with the freaking gun. I said, oh, shit. Mateo's right there. Everybody started running. She said, oh, yeah, bitch. I told you, you better kiss this ring. Oh, I was like, Joyce, Tiana, Taylor, girl, calm your ass down. So she, they, uh, security guard bum rushed her, got her. Loa got um, Star out the way, and Kalala was there. She said, what you doing all this stuff? I said, oh, this is not going to be so good. This is not going to be good. 
So basically, um, when that happened, Star and Noah was sitting down. Also, it was a Kalada, and Kalada was saying, "Listen, this is sorry, this is that Joyce was tripping on stuff. We could wake this up. We could fix this, and everything that we could do to fix it." And Kalada said, "It's not gonna be nothing." Soundhouse took their deal off the table. They canceled the tour. They canceled the money thing. They canceled this publicity. Tarnished their reputation. And Montez said, "That's right. Since this is canceled, freaking Midhouse Town is over. Records is over. Y'all done." It's not gonna happen. So I'm, just, I'm sticking with the media fashion guys. So y'all done. You know over here. So so basically, Carla feel defeated. Feels so defeated. And she said, "I'm so this. I can't. It's over. I can't know what to do." So Noah's Noah. I said, "Oh no, Noah. Just trying to get back on track, and then he might relapse. But he needs to keep strong. Don't let this one little obstacle let you relapse, Noah. To start for the type of way." Noah's for the type of way, so you know, Star trying to get, trying to help as much as she can. So Christine brought Cassie over because she said, "Listen, y'all two, y'all two bitches need to talk. Y'all need to talk, and whatever it is, y'all need to do. Y'all need to get over. I heard we're about to go on tour and everything. You work hard. I know Holly would be proud of you, all that stuff. And then that's just your feel that's man let me to talk because I, I have no work anymore they canceled the book down records I don't have nothing else to live for I don't have nothing else to do right now and they started talking and Cassie said you know you got this and everything trying to cover Chanel everything was going good you said you got going on I ain't, I ain't paying you for be a quitter you know Halil I love Halil I like y'all to y'all was good together y'all always fought together I was just proud of you and and when she said, I have nothing to give, I'm, I'm done fighting, I've been fighting and I can't fight anymore. And she said, I love her here, but one thing I know y'all always been doing together, and one thing I know he done that you know, you're trying to show me now, and you're not doing it, he said he never gave up. So you're gonna not gonna give up, you're gonna keep fighting and fight this. And everything go well until she said, Well, when Andy, he messed with, he's close to me, so I gotta deal with him. I said, Oh, girl. And then Carlotta said, see, this is the type of shit that you are nothing. She said, Cassie, Cassie said, Carlotta, why you going to say that to me? What? She said, you nothing. And all that stuff like that. She said, I'm nothing. I said, you know what? Because I don't need this to get me respect and put the thing on the table. So Cassie, it's another thing. One time Carlotta told us, oh, you deaf to me. We don't got nothing to say. Then I said, all right. And Cassie came again. She tried to apologize saying that, but it went left. So Carlotta said, you nothing. So now I said, that's the Camera straw, she gonna try and do something to get back with her sister or compete with her sister. So Cassie went to see the form I forgot his name. In regards, not gonna say. He um at there he was the former A and R at Midtown and who Kala used to be messing with until he was starting doing his dirt and trying to play her. And um Cassie said, I got big plans and I need your help. And so I'm gonna take down my sister with all that stuff. I said, oh shit. That was one thing. And now, this is the gala. So Carlotta said, you know what? I gotta fight. I gotta fight. I gotta do something. I gotta save my job, save my career. I'm not going down without a fight. So she went down to the gala. And Matei was talking to some people, the gravity people. And talked to some people about the gravity and about how it launches some things and everything. So. Launches of things, the media gossip fashion, and how they're going to project and um, big up Atlanta and make Atlanta big with this kind of stuff he's doing. And Claudia came in, but then she said, but yeah, that's good. Everything is good now, but with the music thing, it will help you because we already got a fan base. It really going to boost your sales up. You're going to boost your products up and boost your other avenues if you keep the music industry on that stuff. So they say, yeah, that's true. That makes sense. That makes sense. So when he tell you, it was like kind of stuck back. He said, what you doing here? Like. What you trying to do? And then I like before Kalala went there to talk, Star went to see Alex and Simone. So they was packing everything up. And they was packing the stuff. And Star was saying, um, they shutting down. Ayana sold Midtown and the guy Mateo is trying to shut Midtown down. So we need to save it. And she said, oh, we're going to save it to save you 
and save your career. She said, oh, no, to save us. Kalala took us in at three girls who busted down her freaking knocked on her door and took us in, book wannabes, and we need to do this for her, for her sake. She said, listen, do this and after this, you don't have to even talk to me any again. So they went, they performed, they did a good job. You can tell they missed it because Simone said she missed being here. And I don't know, when she was talking to Angel, Angel could realize, Angel noticed that he knows that his wife missed it there more than he was with her, her with him. So he said, just have fun, be there, I love you, all that stuff. And this was Simone was at the club. And then Simone, 18 years old, and Alex was there. Alex keep having these flashbacks about this plane crash and stuff. And I think Alex, like, she don't want to go back on the plane. But at the same time, she's hesitant and even traveling right now. She will travel by car because Derek, she'll be back with Derek. Quincy Brown, whatever, his, I think that's his name. We're back to Derek, and they were about to go to New York together and live in New York. But instead of flying, she goes plane. So I think she's kind of hesitant about flying though. So she's kind of like in between. So she she feels like you know what? Yeah, I I don't know about going back. So they gotta miss it. And then Simone, and this is a little piece to it. Simone was in there and there. Alex left because Alex said, "No, what? You gonna come with me?" She go. Sister Simone said, "No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm 18 years old. I can handle myself." Alex said, "You make sure you text me whenever you get home." She said, "I will, I will." So Simone was in her feelings or whatever. She got out. She said, "Boy," and then this lady was talking on the phone or whatever, and she got upset. So, um, so Simone said, "Are you okay?" And they was talking for a little bit, and Simone, you wanna do something all that stuff? And the lady said, "You wanna go out of here?" And do where she said we'll go. We can have some fun. Went out all the next to all of a sudden we see Simone waking up in the bed with the lady next to her. I said, Damn Simone, you that well what the fuck you was doing? Sex or something? Some some uh Simone got up, waked up, got out the house, called Alex, and I said, I see, I was worried about you girl. You shouldn't have helped me. You shouldn't know I was there for you, I wasn't helping you, all that stuff like that. You couldn't do that. I was so good with you. I was all I was uh, Simone said, calm down, yeah, because I was coming out to something, girl, I was okay, yo, I saw. She said, I was there for you, I could accept you. She's doing that because she had a traumatic stress. And the lady that was next to her, maybe she brushed off, but then when the fan crashed, they got cool, they was holding each other's hand, and the lady said, um, I, will, I forgot her name, Bianca, I think her name is Bianca, and said, I'm going to, we're going to be okay, we're going to be okay. And now when Alex had another flashback that she wanted to help Bianca to get up, she said, no, get up, get up, we're going to go together, go together. And then the guy got Alex out, but she said, no, no, she got to come with me, got to come with me. And couldn't help her. So now she's feeling that type of way because she couldn't help her. She felt like she needs to help Simone. So she having that little displaced kind of thing. So I don't think going somewhere and escaping your problems is going to help you, Alex. You need to stay with your family so they can help you go through this. So that's when they had come revelation, um, revelation about how maybe... They're going to be playing the stage, some kind of form or another. So they went to perform. They did a good job. And Carlotta went upstairs, uh, up on the stage. And Mateo saw them. He said, oh, that's cool. And he said, you put this together? She said, no, but I'm here for it. And they announced that. Carlotta said, you know what? Midtown Sound is over. But I'm happy to announce we're going to be under this new sound, Gravity Records. And they said, oh, everybody was happy. But then it was not like, he was like taking it back. Cause he was like, oh, me and this guy about to be having a Gravity Records, having music called Gravity Records. So he got him on stage. And then another jaw dropping. One jaw dropping when was Cassidy was meeting up with the old former a and So we go figure out how they pan out and how she was trying to compete with Carlotta, her sister. Now another jaw dropper I saw in this episode was thinking, he said his, him and his wife is all happy about Take a lance box storm, and he played to the wife on the stage, Nina Forever, and Nina Forever is the one that Simone slept with. I said, What? I said, Bitch, it's not gonna go well. Nina saw Simone, looked at her, Simone was looking at her, I said, Oh my gosh. And I said, Oh, that's another jaw dropper. So that was two jaw droppers I said, right? And also, Star Pregnant, that was three jaw droppers. And then, so they sat down, Carlotta and the three girls sat down. And that's what Simone said, you know what? I realized that I meant I might want to ask Angel to get divorced. 
I don't want to even go back there. I like it here. I miss it here. That's what Alex said. You know what? Yeah, I'm tripping. I don't really want to go on the plane. I don't know about traveling right now. I want to stay here. And that's the stars revealed that she's pregnant. So they was like, all three of them was like, what? I said, oh, Star to make the center of attention. Oh, that's always like. So that was another thing that dropped that Star plan. And now they all was like, oh, now she's pregnant. I said, okay, good. I was like, wow. And then the last thing, like, so you know, Devin is planning, planning to go with um, Alex to New York. So he's all packing everything. He's um, hugging his grandma. They're dancing, they having a good time. He said, I love you. I'm reminiscing all that stuff. I pray that it'd be good. You treat me, teach me how to man. I'm going to miss everything. She said, go on, go ahead. And they had a good time. So he left, whatever. In the house, I guess the window was open late at night. Closed the freaking window. And some guy, I said, who this guy is? I don't know. I, first, I thought it was no. I said, no, don't go. Try, what are you trying to do? What are you doing? But the nose was Miss Lawrence, so I couldn't be him. So I said, who the hell is this guy? Came with a gun in his hand. And he said, she said, what you want and what you want? I said, don't you? She was trying to cut him. And he got a gun. And she said, what? He said, take off your clothes. I said, oh, no. Don't, no, 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 Don't tell me you're trying to rape this old lady. Don't tell me you're trying to rape her with the gun that she had no way to fight you because you got a gun at her. You could shoot her any minute. So she had to comply. So, oh, no, he got to rape this lady. And now this lady going to be feeling type of way that she can be comfortable, she can be comfortable in her own house, she'll be angry, she'll be upset, she'll be feeling, I said, oh no, see, that's when you by yourself, and then your grandson is just, just grandson just left the house, and then she by herself, and then all of a sudden, she going to get raped, I said, no, I don't know if they're going to happen, but when he tell her to take her clothes, he said, I'm going to get the ride of her life, that's implying that he's going to do something to her sexually. I said, oh, that's not jaw dropper. I said, oh, there's going to be too many storylines that we got to get together and go on. So, Mateo and Nina went to the house and celebrating everything. And all of a sudden, it was two ladies. He said, let's go celebrate. I said, oh, y'all, y'all be freaking in a couple here. Y'all be doing stuff like that, like in the regular. So, that's, it was okay for Nina to step out and do her thing. Because he said, you want to celebrate, went to two ladies. It looked like they were about to have a freak little life. And um, Nina would try to be with her, it will have a little one, two, three, four, some. And she said, No, nah, I'm good. I said, Oh, I don't want to know why she said she's good. Maybe she's not feeling the goods. Maybe she on, she's thinking about Simone. I don't know, but she wasn't feeling it. I said, Oh, what is this? The open relationship kind of, kind of shit. Um, I was like, Oh, but that was Star. I enjoyed it. If I miss anything, please put in the comment down below. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to add Star to my little lineup. I'm not going to do Empire. I'm just going to keep Empire for myself. But I like to join Star. I will keep reviewing Star. And talk to y'all all later. Peace.